Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. For those of you who don't know, I started Grumpy Old Fart to express my political and social opinions and to say things that I felt needed to be said. Unfortunately, YouTube, YouTube started giving me strikes. As a hedge against this happening, I have created backup YouTube channels, Grumpy Old Gamer and Grumpy Old Ufologist. I also created a channel called Grumpy Old Fart over on Rumble, a free speech alternative to YouTube. You can find all of my stuff there, including my political opinion and current events. The link to my Rumble channel, as well as links to, to let you order my books, are in the description of this video. If you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. Now, on with the video. Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing an alien activity video on Lake Baikal, B-A-I-K-A-L. Yeah, that's in Russia. After the Cold War ended, Russia began declassifying their UFO reports. Some of their most compelling reports came from the Soviet military. This is one such report. The Soviet Navy conducted a diving training, uh, excuse me, diver training at Lake Baikal for years. Lake Baikal is the deepest freshwater body in the world, and for years, fishermen filed reports of powerful lights coming from deep beneath the surface and of objects flying up from the water. So this, this had went on for, for years. Uh, I've done a video on USOs, go check that out. I did a video where I talk about the, the declassification of, uh, I did a little bit about the declassification of uh, Soviet reports after the close of the Cold War. I talked about it, I think, as I recall, it was in UFOs Evidently. The UFOs Evidently. Go check those out. Uh, in 1982, here's the report we're talking about here. In 1982, the Soviets were training military divers at Lake Baikal. A group of military divers spotted a group of humanoid creatures dressed in silvery suits. The encounter was 50 meters below the surface. That's about 150 feet. Um, 120 to 160 in that range. The divers tried to catch the strange humanoids. The report says that three of the group died and four others suffered severe injuries. Now, it's unclear if the creatures acted defensively and killed these divers or if the divers were, were, were killed and or injured as happenstance of trying to capture the beings, uh, the, the depth, the amount of air, whatever. We're not sure exactly how they died or how they were injured, but the fact that they were chasing unknown humanoids in the water in silvery suits, yeah, that's, that's crazy. It seems clear that UFOs and UAPs are transmedium craft that can operate in air and underwater equally well. The preponderance of evidence suggests that the aliens which occupy these craft may be using the bodies of water on our world to hide their craft and possibly massive alien bases. We just don't know. We, o we only know 5% of what's in the ocean. That's all we know. We only know 5%. 5%. That's it. That's a whole lot of ocean left un un unexplored. So we honestly don't know what's down there. We're always finding new fish and new types of sharks and stuff that we thought was extinct. Remember, uh, what was that, the coelacanth? They thought it was extinct for 65 million years and then somebody caught one. Go figure. Um, I will say this. Although we cannot say for sure if this encounter in Lake Baikal actually happened, I can say for sure that in the 80s, if a Soviet military person reported an encounter with aliens, it did not go well for him. American pilots lost their flight status and most likely their career by reporting something like that. Imagine what would happen to a Soviet military officer. Okay, it would have been a lot more than just losing your career. To put this in a Soviet military, military report is a huge deal for any officer. The chances of this being a hoax is exceedingly slim. When when <clears throat> when you look at these, when you look at an American report, you know these people, they could, they might they, they might get famous. You never know. So there's a chance that it could be a hoax. You look at what went into a Soviet military report. They reported this stuff. Some of them disappeared. Some of them you never heard from again. 
Some of them went to the gulag out in the out in Siberia or wherever. God knows what happened to them. My contention is, whenever they put something like that in a Soviet, whenever a Soviet officer put something like that in a in an official report, he was risking something. This it wasn't. Oh well, he's a little weird. No, <laughs> he risked everything putting that in a report. So you kind of lend some credence to that. I'm just saying. Did it happen? I don't know. It sounds to me like maybe the aliens have, if there are aliens, maybe the ocean would be a place to, to hide. 70% 70 70 of this planet, maybe more or less, is covered in water. Lake Baikal is the deepest freshwater body of water on the planet. Go figure. Something to think about. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.